So I've been wanting to get Unity running on a Raspberry Pi pretty much since I picked one up. And I've had various successes with different versions of Linux running on the Pi. But I really want to get Android running on it. I, I really like just the look and feel of Android on the Raspberry Pi. But up until now, I've not been able to find a version of Android that really runs 100% out of the box. Uh, even the version I'm going to try today, not everything works, but to be honest, I just want to run my game on it. So really all I need is Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Well, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at this version and see how it handles. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get that image file so we can flash it onto an SD card and transfer it over to our Pi. And I'm using the version from Geek Till It Hurts. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description on where to go pick this up. And once you're here, make sure just to go ahead, just click the download link, follow the instructions. You're going to get a zip file. Just unzip it. There's a folder inside. It has the image file. Just drag and drop that out. And I already have a video on how to flash that image file to the SD card to stick into the Raspberry Pi. So I'll go ahead and link that down below too, as there's no point in repeating all of those steps. So with that step done, I'm going to go ahead, put it into the Raspberry Pi, let it do its thing, start booting up while we go ahead and create our actual APK for an Android build. Now, I already have a video on how to create Android builds, and I'll leave a link for that down below in the description as well. Now, with the image burned off to the SD card, I'm going to go ahead, put it into the Raspberry Pi, start letting it boot up. And while it does that, I'm going to come into Unity and create a build of the demo scene that I had for the 2D platformer series. I have made several builds of other demo games, tried them on there and had mixed results as far as how I feel about them. But I'm gonna try this one next. So I've already got a video on how to make an Android build. I'll link that down below as well if you don't know how. But for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and build this out. With my APK build, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this through USB. There are other ways to do it if you wanna go download FileZilla or you know, any other the, uh, applications that you can use to transfer it over. I don't really want to download any other software right now and transferring it over to USB works on any operating system. So I'll go ahead, throw this on a USB flash drive and we'll, we'll put it in the back of the Pi and transfer it over there. All right, so once we're on the desktop, I'm just gonna come up to the corner here. If we go ahead and click, we get access to the USB drive. We'll just open that up. That's automatically going to open up at my jump drive. I'll select it come up to the top again. We want to go ahead. You can either move it or copy it. I'm going to keep a copy on my jump drive, so I'll just copy it. Select where I want to copy to. And then just go ahead and copy it over. Now this is my second time doing it, as for some reason the recording didn't record properly last time. But that's fine. We'll come into the Downloads folder, and when you double-click it, it's going to ask if you want to install this application. Since I already have it installed, it's going to ask if I want to update it. That's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and install the update. And it's not a very big level, so it should build fairly quickly. And when you're done, just go ahead, open it up. And here we go, greedy with the Made with Unity splash screen, and our game will start up. And since I have a keyboard and mouse hooked up, the controls work just as you would assume they would. Uh, overall, I'm not very impressed with the, the quality. Visually, it looks okay, but it's a, it feels a little bit laggy when I'm playing. So up until now, all the versions of Android that I found have been running the graphics off the CPU. I have not been able to find one that has a driver to run it off the GPU. And I think that's the problem I'm having here. Aside from that, I really like everything else about it. I just want to get a few more frames per second out of it, and I'd be happy with that. I'm probably still going to be switching back to, to run it on Linux. As all the scripts and circuitry that I have created so far run fine with Linux out of the box, no more fidgeting around with it. Where with the Android builds, there's still a few things I gotta play around with, but there seems to be so much interest in getting Android running on the Raspberry Pi that I could probably see later on down the road, probably not that far, maybe by the end of the year, we actually get a real driver for the GPU. There are some boards in the similar price. I think it's what, the o, o Droid C or something like that. Uh, they actually have Android builds for their boards, and I think they're only about $5 more than a Raspberry Pi 3. But there are other boards out there to test down the road. But for now, I'm probably going back to Linux, and I'll play around there. 
But I guess the next step is to go ahead, get the circuitry all designed out, get it all soldered together, and throw it in a case. I wonder how that's going to turn out. <laughs> anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.